Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. In this session, we will learn how we can import bulk Excel or CSV file into SQL Server using Python SQL Alchemy. Guys, SQL is everywhere and it is very useful for data analytics and data science world. If you want to do any sort of analysis and automation on data, then of course you will use SQL databases, right? So in the recent session, we have seen how to establish a connection between SQL Server database and Python with the help of PyODBC. And you can find that particular video link in iBitten, fine? So guys, Python and SQL, both of these amazing tools together and allow us to reach of new heights of automation and efficiency, okay? So in this session, we will learn how to import multiple files or data in SQL Server using SQL Alchemy. So before jumping on Jupyter Notebook, let's look at the data. So guys, this is my particular folder, which is sales CSV. Let me open this. So in this particular folder, I have 25 files, right? So you can see here. So these particular CSV, I want to import into the SQL Server. Okay, so let me open this. So you can see here, this will be my particular data, fine? So you can have CSV, you can have text file, you can have Excel file, you can have any kind of data. That particular data you can easily import into the SQL Server, okay? So now let's go to the Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, we have to import Python packages, right? So first one is import SQL Alchemy. So guys, you can install it, simple pip install and SQL Alchemy, right? And after that, I want PyODBC, right? To get the driver. And I want operating system as well, which is OS. And apart from that, I want our favorite library, which is Pandas, fine? Okay, spell mistake, PyODBC, fine? So using the OS library, let me change my current working directory, right? So simple, we can copy this particular folder path and os.chdir, now os.getcwt, fine. So guys, this is my the current working directory where I have all the CSV, okay? You can see here, all right? So let me use the print. So these particular file I want to import into the SQL Server, okay? So guys, to establish the connection between SQL Server and Python using the SQL Alchemy, so you have to remember a few things, okay? So let me go to the SQL Server. So first of all, we have to check what is my server name, right? So guys, you can click on connect and database engine. So you can see here, this is your server name, right? So simple. And now this is your database, which is test. And inside the test, I have the table, which is testing, okay? So simple new query and change the database. Let's say test. Now select start from testing, fine. So you can see here, I have blank table, right? So in this table, I want to import all the CSV, fine. So now the question is how we can check your system name or how we can find the host name. So for getting the host name, we can import the library, let's say platform, okay. And simple, we can use here print platform dot node, simple, okay. And guys, another way is to get the host name, simple, what you can do, you can import the socket, right? So using the socket as well, simple socket and get host name. So guys, using these two methods, you can find your host name or your system name, fine. Now the second thing, we have to check our ODBC driver, okay? So simple, let's say PYODBC dot drivers, simple, okay? So using ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server, we will establish the connection between Python and SQL Server, okay? So guys, how to make a connection? So simple, how to make a connection. So guys, again, the first thing we need to do is to create a connection to the SQL Server, okay? So for creating the connection with SQL Server, you have to remember a few things. First, your system name. Second, in which database you want to import your data, okay? So it means your database name. And the third point is your ODBC driver, fine? So now let's see how we can create a connection. So let me take a variable, which is, let's say connection, SQL Alchemy, which is create engine, okay? And in the create engine, what I want? So I am using here, let's say uh, Microsoft SQL, 
plus py odbc okay guys and now first of all you have to provide your system name okay so this is my system name so what can i do i can use here in the curly braces i can use socket get host name and here i can use f string fine and here what is your database name okay so my database name is test and here question mark this is the particular syntax you have to remember okay or you can copy this particular syntax from the sql alchemy official web page so simple trusted connection equal to yes and what is your driver name right so driver equal to simple you can copy this and here you can paste that's it so these particular syntax you have to remember that's it okay now what we can do so guys first of all we have to access all the csv files okay so simple for fl in os dot list dir right and here we can read the file so simple i am taking our data frame which is df and pd read csv and here i can use os.getcwd or we have already in current working directory right so simple we can pass the fl all right so guys first of all we have to read the each file and that particular files data or files information will save on data frame which is df so that particular data frame we will import into the sql server okay so df which is to sql and here you have to supply your table name which is testing okay and your connection equal to simple connection and guys here is a very important parameter which is if exist okay so guys in f exist there are three parameters so first of all which is fail and replace and append by default is fail right so how to behave if the table is already exist fail raise a value error so if you will provide the fail it will raise a value error in case in if exist if you are passing the replace it means it will drop the tables before inserting the new values fine or guys the last parameter which is append if you are using in if exist so it will insert new values to the existing tables okay so i will choose append simple append right and here you can use index equal to false okay simple now let me run this so guys now you can see here we have successfully established the connection between sql server and python using sql alchemy and we have imported all the csv file successfully into the sql server okay so let's go to the sql server and now let me run this command once again so guys now you can see here we have successfully imported the all the csv data into sql server and these are the rows and the same data we can access into the jupyter notebook right so simple let's say df equal to pd and read sql and here you need to write sql query right so sql equal to select star from testing simple okay and here connection equal to this one now when i'm going to check df dot shape so you can see here we have same 7948 rows and 16 columns okay so guys now the very interesting question is how we can delete that particular data from sql server okay so for that we need to import sql alchemy which is sql and import text okay and now using my connection which is execute okay and here text and what is your text and my text is simple that particular query which is truncate table and testing and here we need to use execution option and inside this auto commit equal to true okay simple now let me run this fine now when i'm going to check again here so you can see here data has gone fine and again you can import the data successfully now let me run this so here again the same row 
And if I'm going to execute once again, see what will happen. Already told you I'm using here if exist equal to append. So that particular entire CSV data will append in the existing data. Okay, so let me run this. Now let me execute this particular query. So you can see here, all right. Uh, we can check here as well. So PD, which is read SQL and select star from testing with the help of connection and dot shape. Okay, simple. And in case you want to get the data, so you can get the data from using this query as well, or you can use connection, which is execute. And here also you can write the query, which is select a star from testing. And you want to fetch all the data? Yes, I want to fetch all the data, right? Fetch all, simple. So guys, you can see here, I'm getting all the data in the form of list of tuple. Fine. So guys, this is a great technique to import bulk data into the SQL server. So simple, you have to remember a couple of things, your host name, what is your driver name and that particular syntax. And in this syntax, nothing is fancy, simple MS SQL by ODBC. What is your host name? What is your database name and trusted connection equal to yes, that's it. Okay. So guys, this is all about how we can bulk import CSV or in the same way you can import Excel or text file as well. Okay. So in case, do you have any question on it? Please let me know in the comment box. So guys do practice of this session as much as you can. Thanks for watching and have a great day.